Hi, and welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant, and today we have for you a 2003 Range Rover HSE. It's got the 4.4 litre V8. The HSC has the windscreen wipers on the lights. That's how you can tell the difference between an HSC and an SE. It's a very nice colour indeed. Very nice wheels. They're off a slightly newer Range Rover. They look like Range Rover Sport wheels actually. But yeah, the Vogue's really are incredible. They're a lot bigger than the Sport. And they were a lot more expensive when they were new as well. It's got your cream interior with your green piping. In fact, it's the sort of green that matches the outside colour as well. It's got a more modern dash, you know, sort of without the wood grain. It's got a very smooth five-speed gearbox. You can adjust the suspension either really low and you can actually press lock. You can lock the suspension on low when you're going through a car park or something like that. And you can also put it on ultra high if you are off-road. The suspension on this car works perfectly. It goes up and down within about five seconds. And if you look at any other Range Rovers, I suggest um, you do try the suspension to make sure it is going up to its highest setting within about five to 10 seconds maximum. You can seat five adults very, very comfortably. It has the original Range Rover mats in it, which is a big bonus. And yeah, they, they really are just lovely, lovely cars. It's got the multifunction steering wheel. Being a Range Rover, it does have things like cup holders everywhere. Obviously, it does have climate controlled air conditioning as well. It does have a sunroof, this one as well, which is great. All the seats fold down, so if you did want to put things in the back, you certainly can too. It's got that lovely factory tint to it. I'm not sure if you can see it with this video, but it, yeah, it looks great. And it's got the European plates on it, which are perfectly suited to a Range Rover. Here you are, it's an HSC, as you can see by the badge in the back. It's got a two-way tailgate, so if you're actually parked up against you know, a brick wall or something, you can open the back tailgate without opening this big, long two-metre thing which is going to hit the wall. You can lower this tailgate here. You've got your spare wheel in the back, which is fantastic. All your tools. The roof lining is very, very good. In the older Range Rovers, I found that the roof lining tend to, to sag, or the glue, it, it looks like it almost went went off and, and just started to sag, but in these newer ones, I've never, ever seen the problem. If you look on the internet, you will see these with the same engine, with as many as 250 or 300,000 kilometers, still driving very, very well. So the, another good thing about these are, it is a V8, and it actually sounds like a V8 and it goes like a V8. These have an incredible amount of power and towing power. Whereas a lot of other V8s, especially in four wheel drives, I don't know, you just don't seem to hear the V8, you don't tend to get the performance. Whereas I think these are zero to 100 in about eight or nine seconds. That's just telling me the lights are on. Um, it does have cruise control, climb controls I previously mentioned. It's got a rear dimming rear view mirror when these were about a you know over a hundred thousand at least 135,000 when they were new so if you are looking for a Range Rover come and have a look at this one this one does have a full service history from brand new and the last service was at Trevet which is a Range Rover dealer all four tires are in very good condition and all four of them are Pirelli Scorpions which are the most expensive tires on these uh, but they are designed for the Range Rover and they look brand new. In fact, even the wheels look brand new. So if you are looking for a 2002 onwards Range Rover, where it be an SE, HSE, Vogue, three litre, 4.4 uh, litre V8, whatever it may be, come and have a look at this one. Take it for a drive. It drives beautifully. I have had these before. And in driving it, Gearbox is silky smooth. I told you, you know, about the fact that I'd test out the suspension to make sure that was working properly. All things you really should do. And obviously with one of these, you need to make sure it does have a logbook and it's been fully serviced from brand new. This does have two remote keys to it as well. So look, give us a call. We're the Old Timer Centre. We certainly do look forward to hearing from you.